All right. So we are looking at seven courses, seven factors, seven things you can just easily look at and say, these things that I do, they cause me to lose the presence of God. This thing, they cause me to lose the presence of God. This also, that also, that also, that also. Number one, when you are drawn by worldly pleasures, you are drawn by worldly pleasures, you can easily lose the presence of God. This is God. He has put Adam and Eve in the garden. He has put one tree, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. He said, this one, don't eat it. Don't go for the food. Don't do anything. And every day, why if you now? But Fred will, uh, you know, a man go with her, a brobe, a brobe, you know, I'm going to be me. They be out, or you know, around soon, you know, but I could be a baby and I say, hey, 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 So when the devil now through the sample said, ah, the Bible said, that the devil said, it is, it will be good. And the woman looking at it said, it was desirous. Let's read it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When the woman saw that the fruit of the tree was good for food and pleasing, what something something that God said don't eat, and you are having appetite for it. The thing God said don't eat, you are having appetite for that thing. That is how we lose the presence of God. Those of you are having appetite for worldly things. You see worldly people, you are having appetite. You are being drawn. You are gradually enjoying worldly music. When we say it and so for we can come preaching home. Yeah, they come. You are gradually enjoying worldly festivals, worldly parties. You are in the midst of them. They are blowing kisses. You are okay. <laughs> and you are just enjoying you say you are drawn you are drawn you are drawn and the, you see you may not even be participating but the fact that you are drawn you don't see anything wrong with it you wish you could do some you are drawn to the pleasures of this world you are in the midst of people drinking all kinds of drinks and you are okay you are okay you just uh, I don't like much alcohol it's, but you are in their midst you love love their fellowship. You love their company. You love worldly things. You love worldly things. You are gradually being drawn. That is how you start to lose the presence of God. Let us be careful. When you are drawn. Number two, when you start rating earthly wisdom above divine wisdom. You start rating earthly wisdom because the, the, the serpent said, when you eat this, you become wiser. God has spoken to you that don't eat it. The day you eat, you will die. You are despising the wisdom of God. And you are taking earthly wisdom. Serpent wisdom. Serpent 101 Titorias. You are taking it above the wisdom of God. When you start doing that, you are about to lose the presence of God. Let us be careful. For instance, one of the wisdoms of God is that the husband is the head of the family. You don't agree, you agree, God has set it up. If I'm the one setting it up, I will change it. Because I see some wives are very smart. And some husbands are dummy. They know nothing. They are just dibonkosu. That's so. So if I'm the one, I will not say so. But once God has said so, accept it. If you want to fight it, you will lose God's presence. Whatever is the wisdom of God, don't bring in. Because you have gone to a little school, you have done certificate, you have done course, engineering, engineering 103. How to change adjust pipe <laughs> please when you let that enter your head i'm a professor i am this i am learned i cannot sit down for them to be talking like this what is this i am that i am that you see god will withdraw his presence even in the pulpit even in the pulpit in the holy order of god 
when you begin to teach the wisdom of men above the scriptures, get ready. Yeah. You turn into something and you are teaching karma's theories. Seventy-seven powerful speech of Adolf Hitler. You are giving us those quotations where you can easily open the Bible and tell us for God so loved the world. It may sound like it's small, but that is what will save the soul. So when you begin to think that you are learned, and when you, you say, I'm quoting from Encyclopedia Britannica, this, that, that, that's why even we pastors, some great pastors will be quoting, and the Hebrew meaning, and the Latin, and the Okodomio, Okodomio, which means breaking down all those, when they preach and finish, we don't understand what they have said. understand what they have said. Because they are trying to use knowledge. Use the simple wisdom of God. That's all. If you sin, you go to hell. Tell people, they will change. Tell people, they will change. Whatever is the wisdom of God, tell people. For instance, one of the wisdoms of God is giving an offering. Bringing an offering. And sometimes, like today, we say we are doing appreciation for pastor. Giving to the pastor. And some of you that are sitting down, I'm far richer than you. So why should you rather come and give to me? Why should you rather come and give me? But that is the wisdom of God. You just respect it. And you do it to honor the man of God and see what the Lord will also do for you. But if you fight it, oh, I have been living before you were born, some of you. And I'll survive. And I'll not die today. God will still take care of me. For instance, in the Old Testament, when I read something, I get confused. That somebody has taken goat, cow. You know cow, moon cow. That is going to give an offering to the Lord. When they get there, the priest will bring matches. Then they will bring matches. Then they will just dress the thing. And burn it to ashes. When people are sitting in the town, who doesn't have uh, meat to eat? Protein. People are lacking protein. You have burnt everything to ashes. That you have given it to God. That's the wisdom of God. It doesn't make sense to you. But it is his wisdom. He said, bring it. He didn't say, go and give it to the people who are poor. He said, bring it. Burn everything to ashes. When you finish, I have received it. So sometimes the wisdom of God may not make sense. So, so when you use your mind, your mind, your mind, you will lose the presence of God. 